I'm going to stop you <laughs> at the next show. Oh, I'm going to stop all over you yeah, at the next At the one. Silver Dome. <laughs> I'm going to stop you. Oh, I'm going to stop all over you at that your stilly ass. Started as a whisper, became a revolution, and became three words or less slash fewer. Are you ready? <coughs> yeah, so it's a welcome to the, the one, two, three count. Hi, uh, we're doing the NXT black and gold era. Every NXT takeover in three words or less slash fewer. Tyson Kidd importance. He was a real fundamental part of those early days. Certainly was. I stayed up. Oh, you watched the first ever one? Watch this live on the network. I was Mark. so, so excited for it. Another Natalia record. <laughs> she set the record. Start of revolution. Mm -hmm. We've been going back and looking at this recently for WrestleTalk Extra, but they were writing in the Observer, like, this is the match that really made WWE be like, huh, women's wrestling, huh? Women might be able to wrestle. Yeah. Stephanie McMahon then went on to create women's wrestling. Uh, yeah, cheap plug for Wrestle Talk Extra on Patreon. Sign up at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Wrestle Talk. 2010 lame name. <laughs> of all the main roster pay per views to take the title of, yeah. Fatal Four Way. I've written, names get better. <laughs> Breeze breakout potential. Top man breeze. I let, can we can we shake on that? Yeah. Legit thought he could be the next, one of the next top. Mid carders <laughs> on the main roster. I thought it was going to win the NXT title yeah, at some same. point. Best run begins. Yeah. Didn't take long. No, no, no. It's a, like this is a hot, hot period. This is like pre, like the the pre glory days as well. But they're just on a roll with this thing. It's like the best run began and oh, did it last a year, a couple of years? No, no, it lasted like six, seven years. Yeah. Promise better names, because <laughs> while the action's good, these names are still quite bad. Needless quitting stakes. Needless quitting angle. Oh, wow. We got that pretty spot on. Yeah. Yeah, Sami Zayn did not need to have that on the line. No. I think we might have the same thing here. Luke missed it. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell the story? So, I watched the show, and I saw the main event. I saw Sami win the tile, and I went, great. Little graphic in I was like, brilliant. Click off that. I'm done with the rest of the day, and I can just move on to things. And I text you. And I was like, man, that NXT show was awesome. And you text me back, did you see the end? I was like, yeah, where Sammy won the belt and everyone celebrated with him and Owens was in the ring with him. It was awesome. And you were like, watch it again. <laughs> so I loaded back up the network. And yeah, there was like another five minutes of the show that I did not see. But back then, this was before the time when we grew suspicious of the copyright logo. That, yeah. This is the first time it was ever used, to my knowledge. So good, though. Corbin Dempsey clash. <laughs> Big beef match. Have you gone for the sound? I was so into Bull Dempsey versus Baron Corbin. They built this so perfectly. Baron Corbin wins matches quickly. Bull Dempsey wins matches quickly. And then they clash. Remember the crowd used to count how long yeah. the matches took? And they did it for this match, and it went longer than 20 seconds. So they booed it. <laughs> Imagine doing that for Baron Corbin's matches now. Be stuck in a headlock for five <laughs> minutes. Looks so young. <laughs> it's like looking at my partner's prom photos. <laughs> you know, you're not that person. You look so, so young here. But they are that person. Yeah. Like, like, like the Muppet Babies. Yes, they look like Muppet Babies. Yeah. Women's wrestling arrives. This is the match. Meh. TKO finish. Vinny loved it. I wasn't a fan. So this is Vinny V of the Brian and Vinny Oh, show. your three words are Vinny, Vinny loved, loved it. it right? Yeah. Uh, he reviewed this match and was like, when he knocked him out, I thought, man, what a lame finish because really Owen should win the title here. And then Owens won the title. I'm like, good. That is a finish that makes sense. Parking lot debut. Atami was attacked in the car park. Yep. Parking lot to American viewers. <laughs> and that's where we got our first... It's the most dangerous place in wrestling. So this show was called NXT TakeOver Unstoppable. My three words. Atami was stoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped. <laughs> NXT Unstoppable. <laughs> Apart from this guy. <laughs> he got stopped. He got stopped. 
I'm going to stop you <laughs> at the next show. Oh, I'm going to stop all over you yeah, at the next At the one. Silver Dome. <laughs> I'm going to stop you. Oh, I'm going to stop all over you at that your silly ass. It's like Sullivan cutting a wrestling promo. Bad. But Joe... I didn't actually review anything of the match either. I've written here, freelance Samoa Joe. Yeah. Remember that Samoa Joe? Was, he was not contracted to NXT or WWE. He was a legit independent contractor who was freelancing for WWE. Such a weird time. Weird, weird time. Jushin Liger's there. Jushin Liger wrestles. Yeah, he's our friend. <laughs> I don't know. Insert the clip here of mm-hmm. Jushin Thunder Liger giving us high fives while we're on segways. The only thought I had running through my mind as I was approaching <laughs> Japanese wrestling legends, wrestling legends, Jushin Thunder Liger while I was on a segway, and he wanted a high five was, do not run over Jushin Thunder Liger on a segway. Segways are very responsive. If you lean and you do that, you're killing <laughs> Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, right? Yeah. I don't want to kill him in Manchester. No. <laughs> <laughs> Deflating inflatable tube men. Do you want to do that again? Deflating inflatable tube man. Uh, what? Tube man? Is, are we going with tube, tube man? Tube man? VAR, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Well, while that's being checked, I'll describe to you what this is. It didn't actually happen on this show, but it was in the recap package yeah. for Bailey versus Sasha. And it was when Sasha, like, it th- ended with. The wacky wave and inflatable arm tube men for Bailey's entrance just going with her theme song like really slow. Yeah, it was so good. (laughs) My favorite match. Yeah, I told Bailey this to her face. I'm sure I'm not the first person who told her that. In in fact, probably she was a bit bored Mm. of me saying that to her because I'm like, it's my legit my favorite match ever. My guest at this time is one half of my favorite WWE match of all time and probably the interview I'm most nervous about today. Bailey, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, what match was that? Brooklyn. Ah, that's what I thought. Is it really? In in WWE, I'd say this is my favorite. I, apart from the hardcore triple threat, this is probably my favorite WWE match of all time. Did he caveat it to Bailey with, <laughs> apart, apart from the hardcore, hardcore triple, triple threat, threat at WrestleMania X7? <laughs> this is my favorite match of all time. So, oh, I'm seeing conflicting things here, where wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube guy is two separate words. I've seen people call it tubeman. <laughs> That's what I said. I said Tubeman. But also, the according to the Wikipedia article, Tube Man, two separate words, they're actually called the Tall Boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's Ellis's WWE. I was going to say that's Ellis, like, Ellis is part of the Tall Boys. <laughs> tall Boys, you and Dave Bradshaw <laughs> bowling in, talking about football. I will let you though. I, 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 hold on, I let you hyphenate it so it's like Spider Man. No, no, I, I, I can do it, redo it now. Deflating tall boys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need inflatable tube men if I've got my tall boys. That's, that's what I say about Alice when Arsenal lose at the weekend. It comes in the other side. It's the ball! Deflated tall boy over here. <laughs> Dusty tradition begins. Mm-hmm. It's the tank yeah, tournament. Yeah. Ask a debut match. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yes. Huh. And I love it so much. Beat the mechanics. <laughs> not FTR. Nope. Not Dash and Dawson. Not the Revival. Back then, their name was the Mechanics. Weird name. Yeah. Yeah. I guess because they looked like mechanics. Put some boiler suits on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, where's the turn? Yeah, we were all predicting Joe and. Uh, Balor to turn on it. They were clearly turn, clearly building too. Balor versus Joe for the title, and so everyone thought there's going to be a turn. There's going to be a turn. There's going to be a turn. And then they win the Dusty Classic. And I remember Brian Alvarez reviewing it, being like, "That was just a nice moment. I'm glad there was no turn." <laughs> yeah, well, it, because it's the first one as well to honor Dusty. Maybe yeah. that had played a part. Rename Iron Maiden match. Oh, that's good. I've always said that. It should have been an Iron Maiden match. Because it is an Iron Man match, isn't it? I yeah. believe it is. Like It's not even an Iron Woman match. It's an Iron Man match. And I think Lita said that she was the one who pushed for it to be called Iron Man, not call, not call it an Iron Woman match. I, I, not for me to tell a woman she's wrong, but I, I think she's wrong <laughs> about this specifically women thing. But this has got one of the best moments in NXT history. 
made Izzy cry. Mm. Oh, it's heartbreaking when Sasha Banks makes that small child cry. Oh, it's awful. Force Awakens next. Ollie's great day. <laughs> well, I, did, I just high five that. That was one of the best days of my life. You talk about this day <sighs> a lot. Of this is your great day. I've got I've got two best days ever. One was NXT London into Force Awakens opening the next day, and the other was AEW Revolution, and I watched the Batman the, that same day for the first time. Great days, pre-pandemic as well. Mm, indies were better. Maybe not cool. Mm. He used to come out Finn Balor as like Hannibal Lecter or Venom. Venom was cool. Uh, Joker. And I thought, oh, yeah, he's going to change it up every time. I mean, he didn't. And he did this one. Well, he did change it up. It was different. You know, it does it was, Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre when they go to, to Texas. It's just mm-hmm. that this wasn't very good. Better than Mania. Better than Mania. Right there. Yeah. And it annoyed people on the main <laughs> roster. Oh, it sure did. Vince was not a happy bunny about that. How dare my own company and the future of the talent roster be good? It's because they were chanting it at... Um, Access. Mm. They were having a match. It was like Charlotte and someone else were having a match at Access, and the crowd were chanting better than Mania, and he was not pleased. FTR greatness established. The revival arrival. Mm, that's nice. Coolest entrance ever. Holy shit entrance. Oh my god. So good. First time we would have heard that music as well. Yeah, it's perfect. And what a match as well. Japan beats everyone. <laughs> I bought merch. Oh, yeah? So I watched this match. I don't buy a lot of wrestling merchandise, but I watched this match, and uh, when it finished, I was like, I've got to go buy Asuka's Mm. T-shirt, because I thought it was so cool. And I went to WWE shop, and I bought Asuka's T-shirt. Last full sale. It is, yeah. I think that's why it's called The End. First Andrade takeover. Mm. House show change. Yeah, they changed the time on a house show. On a Thursday live event. Yeah. I that like if if this if the end is get ready for some weird house show title changes, which is what happens for a bit over the next couple of years. I wasn't too there for that. Never quite hit. Mm. I don't think these two ever really clicked. And I think I can now look back on it with the benefit of hindsight and be like, that's Joe struggling with the WWE style. Because I would say the same thing about Joe Nakamura. Yeah, I've got two guys struggling yeah. with the, the WWE style. Absolutely. Bailey call up potential. There's no way the main roster are going to miss on this one. She's the Lady John Cena. Oh, yeah. They missed. I wrote an article around this time called I'm a 30-year-old Bailey fan, and that's okay. Because <laughs> it was. People were bullying us on to online at the time for being older fans of Bailey because she was designed for, you know, she appeals to kids. And I'm like, no, it's cool to like Bailey. I, w- well, I've written here, watched in nightclub. Oh, I know this story, yeah. I was on a friend's stag do. <laughs> And I was not having a good time in a nightclub in Cardiff because it just was not my scene. And I thought, huh, Brooklyn 2's on at the moment. <laughs> so I got my phone out. I got onto the the staff Wi-Fi in the nightclub and I watched Brooklyn on my own on my phone. Defining tag feud. Blew my mind. Transitional champ feud. Transitional champ feud. That's exactly what it is. Just switch the belt back and forth. Glorious. Rude entrance. Oh, I've just got glorious entrance. I haven't gone rude in there. I've just gone glorious entrance. Do I have? No. Just a little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Real main event. Yeah, it should have been. Mm. Absolutely. And it would become later on. Double tap out. That Great moment spot. when they're in the submission and they're reaching for each other's hands and they stop each other from tapping. Oh, it's so good. It's the first time I'd ever seen that uh, consciously, I guess. Maybe it's happened before. And now it's used so much in tag matches. Yeah. Mac won Osaka. He won the belt in a Sutton and Osaka house show. And yeah. they played clips of that on the next week of WWE TV. Yeah. What's going on with this era? <laughs> I'm done now. I was really done with Joe and Nakamura. There was a period when they were just showing these matches on TV as well. Like the house show matches, they were just show on TV. They had a cage match and everything. I was really ready for this feud to be over. When the tag division was like, that had become the... The top main yeah. event, really. Corey era ends. It's the last Corey Graves really? commentary show, yeah. Ah. But I say what I'm excited for. Excited for sanity. <laughs> I was never into sanity. What do you mean? It's, it's, it's Eric Young. It's Big Damo. I Mickey like Cross. comedy Eric Young. 
No, this is cool with the music that they've got as well. Rob Van Dam. <laughs> whole earth and show. Whole sanity. I was well into sanity. I thought it was so cool. AOP hold on. Yeah. I was surprised how well they could wrestle. Best tag division. Mm. Glorious era begins. Quick, glorious rise. Yeah. Only debuted. And then the next takeover wins the belt. Yeah. Rude's Hunter Rain. <laughs> and I mean that in a nice way. I yeah, feel like yeah. Bobby Rude just felt like such, like all the best parts of Triple H's world champion character distilled into him. Yeah. The next era. Hmm. I feel like this is when we end one era of NXT and we go into the next chapter. Coffin Rise entrance. <laughs> That's what it needed. It needed the sound effect. And thankfully, Kevin Dunn added that on the main roster. Coolest thing ever. I was so into Malachi Black. Mm. Uh, Alistair well, Black. Yeah, sorry. I was so into Alistair Black. I took up kickboxing because I was so into Alistair Black. I wanted to be like him. DIY Revival team up. They had to come together, sworn enemies, to take on the bigger, the bigger bad. So it's like Batman v Superman. Sorry, can I just check the, the wording there? DIY revival. Team up. Team up is hyphenated. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get, uh, I, I, I think that's fair. What say you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there they go. But it's like two Batmen <laughs> teaming up with two Supermen in the film Batman v Supermen <laughs> to take on the Doomsdays. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is like. When do, when do the Wonder Women come in? <laughs> D.I. Revival. One word. Oh. <laughs> Tag moves. <laughs> oh, oh, no. D.I. Revival. Have the audacity well, there's a Y in to there. To call me out on my pick for this one. D.I.R.E.V.Y.I.V.A.L. D.I. Revival. DIY Revival. DIY Revival. <laughs> it's like you've got too many consonants by accident and countdown. DIY Revival. Tag sets. Tag moves. <laughs> you said the same thing, but so much worse. Best takeover ever. Tag main event. UK. Uh, the claps are my other. UK. Oh. Clap, clap. I've just written UK, UK, UK. Copyright logo. No! It's back. Copyright logo swerve. Yeah. So good. Last Bobby, Asuka. It's another end of an era. It Both is, Asuka yeah. and Bobby Roode are off after this. Moon Shudder won. Mm, yeah. But they wanted to break Goldberg's streak. <laughs> <laughs> Much to Goldberg's chagrin. Glorious era over. And Drew it would never era, return. True era begins. Mm. ROH contract tampering. The ROH invasion. That is how this was pitched in the news. And, and yeah, they were tampering with their contracts to sign them all at the same time. Allegedly. Um, <laughs> it, and it was delayed for months and months and months. Yep. This was meant to happen way in advance. Blood and guts. <laughs> I'm sorry. War games? That was your reaction it to was. when he said it. I, they're actually going to do war games mm. in WWE. I never thought we would see the day because the story always was it cuts off the amount of seats that you're selling. So Vince wouldn't do it. They would never do war games. And also, it's not his creation. Yeah. He, you know, he looks, tends to look down on things like that. Um, but yeah, NXT wasn't. They could just run a slightly larger place, yeah. I suppose. I mean, and really, it's not really war games. Mm. There's no lid. Well, there's not. Yeah. It's, also, you can win by pinfall and submission. Enjoy infamy, Velveteen. And I say that with not not anything that's happened since. That was just the, that, that was the Alistair Black line to Velveteen after he made finally made him say his name. It was a fantastic feud. Original acknowledge me. Mm. Yeah. This is, I, I don't know how like well-remembered this is because it might just be a random spot. Almost rope break. It is one of the best near falls I've ever seen. And it's in this match, and almost just grabs the rope. Grabs the rope. Drew era over. Mm. As soon as it began, it's over. Champers booking crutch. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He uses it as a as a weapon, and arguably a booking crutch. Adam chair spots. Mm. When his back just bends over, it's like that bit in The Simpsons with Homer <laughs> and the fire hydrant. 
This is even more painful than it looks. Oh, it was rough going, but I showed that to a friend of mine who hadn't watched wrestling in about 15 years. I was like, bud, watch this. Kyle flopping gif. That Kyle gif. Yeah. Oh, that's, it, this is where that's from. It is, yeah. The, and then the fall down. Vega's tiny hurricane rana. <laughs> I used to love it when she busted that out. Melts of five stars. Mm. The first NXT match to get five stars. Was it really? Yeah. Wow. It's because he hates WWE. He's waiting for AEW to start so we can give that five stars. That trend would continue because 10 star show. Two five star matches on this show. NXT's best show. Remember Lars Sullivan? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I remember is the story that Big Damo told us about this match, which is whoever wins, wins. Cole is booked to win this thing, but I am not, and none of us are faking walking up this ladder. And if you're not there to stop us, <laughs> I'm just going to win. Adam! 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 Alistair Vega meet cute. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. yeah. Tuttle keeps switching. Mm. I really felt at this point in time, like no one's holding onto this belt for very long. Exposed concrete powerbomb. That power. <gasps> Oof. Gross. Great show, though. Lars Championship match. He fought Alistair Black for the NXT title. Black miss. <laughs> Am I right? Because he whiffed the move. Yeah. Can't outfly Ricochet. Replaced with Logan. Mm. The whole build to this was that big flip yeah. over. And because they can't use that footage anymore, they just did it again with Logan Paul. Wedding ring spit. Yes. <gasps> Such a blood feud. Best of three? And the, the mm. best of the matches they had. Oh, they're all so good. But yeah, mate, I, I would probably agree there. Yeah. Injury curse again. Poor Alistair Black. Yeah. Taken out in the parking lot. Yeah. Super kick your moonsault. That super kick yeah. spot. So cool. Best modern trilogy. WWE's best story. Mm. I don't even think just trilogy of matches. I think just story. Yeah. That is their best modern story they've ever had. Annual era Franken team. Annual UE match. Yeah. Well, we've got Undisputed Era. Uh, we need four other blokes to face them. It was in this year when I was like, oh, maybe that's just what War Games is going to be now. Yeah. Ricochet Moonsault, highest spot. Yeah, off the cage. Mm -hmm. I've just written Yui versus lads. Horsewomen right there. You could have done the the MMA WWE horsewomen match. Yeah, didn't really fancy doing it in the end, I guess. Mm. I just looked at the card of this and one match jumped out to me. Riddle versus Hero? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to talk about a match that would probably stump anyone in Survival Series? No one remembers that this match happened. Is that Riddle's debut takeover match? I think it might have been, yeah. Mm. And Chris Hero was on the card. He was there for a bit. You mean Viking. <laughs> New tag era. Mm -hmm. DIY double champs. Yeah, with, Gar Gar oh, with Champa as the NXT champ. More like Gargan Gold. <laughs> You're doing pretty good today. Thank You're you, doing bud. pretty good today. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with that one. Main roster raid. On their way! Uh, <laughs> Champa, Gargango, <laughs> Black, and Ricochet. Yeah. All just taken to the main roster at the same time. You mean Gunther? <laughs> Who's this Walter guy? Brit Rest Rules match. I didn't love. A bit much. More WWE raiding. Very the, clever. Uh, yeah, That's thank you. good. The Viking Raiders were called up. And they had to relinquish the tag belts. Yeah. The main roster was just like panicking and they were trying to get stuff from NXT and they would ruin it. Yeah. Lost the Raiders. Hmm. Better than first. A better match. Last pre AEW takeover. Very, that's very good. Good mm. wording on that one as well. I've taken what we put on our thumbnail review of this show least <laughs> best takeover. <laughs> we're not, we weren't saying it was bad. No. We're just saying it was the least best the one. The least best takeover. That was our overall feelings on the show at the end of it was like, that was good. It's just that it's the least best takeover. It didn't have two five-star matches. And they'd, had, they'd set their expectations so high. You mean Sky, <laughs> not Io Shirai. Rise of Shirai. Bit too much. Had my fill. Main roster invasion. 
post AEW era. Dakota turns heel. Dakota heel turn. That's a great heel turn. That's a great spot. Kevin Owens cameo. Kevin Owens appears. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's yeah, a shake. That's a shake. We're just yeah. saying things that happen now. <laughs> well, that's that's what a review is, isn't it? <laughs> Last pre-COVID takeover. Pre-pandemic show. Ooh. You mean T-Bar? <laughs> Who's this Dijakovic? PWG was better. Yeah. Annoying riddle comedy. Oh, do I, you know I, I oh. didn't get into it. The I whole Bobby Fish it. thing. That no, wasn't for me. Riddle Franken team begins. He just jumps now from mm. Franken team to Franken team until he leaves WWE. <laughs> WWE lost mind. Hunter loves 90s. Oh my god, they were just going crazy. They're just they're, they're, we just need to make content. Let's have a bit of fun. Filmed really late. <laughs> the reports were that everyone was there for the the brawl bit and it just went on till like 2 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, this apparently went on for a long time. But like a lot of things during the pandemic Gotta try something. <laughs> Charlotte never pinned. Flair reign underserved. I I wonder if without a pandemic, this would have been given the shine it should have had. Charlotte returning to NXT as champion. But it did feel like a, eh. And she never really dropped the belt. Beginning of end. Doesn't feel same. It's not just the pandemic. It's AEW has made NXT not feel the same. Going live. Mm. It doesn't feel the same. Modern celebrity trend. It, this is the start of it. As in, like, well, you had uh, you had Stephen and Mel. I would say it was a very good celebrity match against Christopher Daniels at All In. But this, that plus this is like, oh my God, these celebrities are having banging matches. And then you get another McAfee match. You get Bad Bunny. And now we've got Logan Paul. Yeah. Better than expected. Mm. I don't think anyone so thought this good. was going to be good going <laughs> into it. Not right, guy. Still... Great entrance. Forgot Balor champ. <laughs> Tell you what I forgot. NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, yeah. Was it purple? Am yeah. I, am I misremembering? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was purple because it, it was the 205 Live like championship. Mm. It then becomes the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Heal Balor best. Both got injured. Oh, yeah. Both suffered injuries from this match. Forgot about that. Flying trash can. Forgettable war games. Flying trash can. Hold on. Otherwise awful war games. EO bin dive. <laughs> Shocked coal face. Better than expected. Undisputed era over. Undisputed era split. Mm. Sad. S sad. <laughs> well, you Donald Trump tweet. Sad. <laughs> oh, I heard that uh, undisputed era split up. Sad. <laughs> awful follow-up booking. I had nothing to say about this match, so I've just written a good match. <laughs> you mean Butch. It sure happened. Two Night Mania. First LIW show. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Death by Chop. Ended via oh, Chop. What a finish. Great match. You mean Rodriguez. Who's Raquel Gonzalez? <laughs> try it again. <laughs> It'll work this time. Like a lot of the pandemic. Gotta try something. Way too long. Basically Edge Randy. Yeah. <laughs> It's still good. <laughs> Cole buries Cross. Mm. Remember that promo leading yeah. up to this where he's like, Karrion Cross, you suck at wrestling. And everyone else in NXT is really good at wrestling. Why are you the champion? You suck at this. Skits were fun. Million dollar belt. Try it a third time. Lol, Karrion won. <laughs> The build to this match was, you suck and you're not a good wrestler and everyone else is a better wrestler than you. Lol, he won. So everyone else sucks. I will say I said five words there. You said five words. Try it a third time. So my actual pick was try third time. I got excited. I really <laughs> apologize. I, I hold my head in shame. 2.0 will fix. <laughs> Leave memories alone. Mm. NXT's best title. A fitting send off. At that point. Yeah. yeah. Cold contract lapse. Yeah, he was working without a contract. He wasn't contracted at this point. Also, this match is a bit much. Cross call-up success. <laughs> <laughs> Killed by 2.0. Now go and watch us review every WrestleMania in three words or less slash fewer. We are going back in time. and getting a bit nostalgic up in here. We're going back to the future. No, no, we, we're just...
we're just going back, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's I've, what I've learned from my time on YouTube is that if you just say the titles of movies that people know, mm. they like you more. Okay, uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, 18.